Step six is when things start getting interesting. So what we're gonna do here is to replace the echo, echo hello world command that we have right here. And we're gonna replace that with a few other commands. So I'm just gonna go over this very quickly. And so this part here, I'm just explaining the fact that you have other, other phases like pre-build, build, post-build. Post -build. And I give a, a very quick example. So if you wanna, if you wanna deploy a Golang application, so you can use the install phase to install the Golang, the Golang environment, and then the pre-build phase to clone a GitHub repo, the build phase to compile the code, and the post-build to, to upload the code to an S3 bucket, for example. And, and so the way you organize your phases is entirely up to you. You could put all of the commands in the install phase and that's gonna be completely fine, that's gonna work. But you know, if, if you wanna organize your, your pipeline better, then you would, you would use these phases accordingly, accordingly, right? So the install phase, you're gonna install dependencies. Uh, the pre-build is gonna be things to, that you do before you actually build your code, uh, maybe some testing, et cetera, and build for, could be for the compiling, so that's entirely up to you how you're gonna use these phases. But here I'm just explaining that they exist and you, you can use them. This is the most important thing. So these are, these are the commands that we're gonna to have to, to implement. So now the first thing I'm gonna do is we, you see that we have two phases now, install and build. Let me start by, by taking care of that. If we go back to the CFN lint, we're gonna replace install with these here, and let's just make sure they are aligned. Okay, going back to the challenge. First thing is to just upgrade pip. So we're gonna we're gonna have this pip upgrade or pip install upgrade pip. So let's run this right here. That's the first command in our installed phase. And yeah, I mean, people is already installed by default because we're using a Python image, but just make sure that we have the, the latest version of, of pip before installing the, the tool. Then the next step is to install, is to install CFN lint. And for that, we're gonna use the command pip install CFN lint. I'm gonna fix that later. So pip install CFN lint. And the third one, which is gonna be in the build phase, is to run CFN lint to validate our cloud formation template. And this one, it's pretty simple. So just CFN lint, so that's the command that we installed and the path to the YAML file. Okay, so we can just do it here. So CFN lint and the path to, to the template. You see that here, we're, we're, gonna, ha we're gonna be in the pipeline templates Actually, we're, we're here in the pipeline templates in the terminal, but uh, when it comes to, to the pipeline, it really depends how you zipped your file or zipped your folder. So you see that here in the deployment.zip, we, we zipped two folders, stacker and templates. Once you get to the pipeline here or to, to this build stage, your, your location in when you, whenever you run commands is gonna be exactly this. So when you run these three commands, you should see uh, the stacker folder and you should see the templates folder. Just to make sure that's, what, that's what's gonna happen, I'm just gonna do an ls here. So, so, you, um, so we prove that that's, that's what's gonna happen. And, but I'm, I'm, I know that it's gonna happen, so I'm just gonna run, I'm just gonna write the, the CFN lint command. So CFN lint dash lint, and then the location of the templates, which I know is, the templates folder here. And imagine that you have more than one template. You're actually gonna want to validate all of them at the same time. So to do that, we can use the wildcard uh, star dot yaml. And this should be enough to run all of the commands that we need. Let's see if there is anything else that we need to cover here. Yeah, so that's my build spec. And I just need to update the stack because I made a modification to, uh, to my build stack. So we need to first update the stack. And after we update the stack, we're gonna have to re-upload to uh, the zip file test three. So it triggers the pipeline again. So let's start by updating the stack. 
So I'm just going to make sure I am in the right folder right here. And I don't know why it always brings this. I think I've got everything I need here. Oh, I need to save, of course. And let's try this. Perfect. So my stack is being updated. And once it's done, let's double check here. If I reload, yep, so update in progress. So it's updating the CFN length, CFN length resource. Let's just wait for this to clean up. Update, has, update is complete. If I go to the build project for CFN Lend and I click on build details, we should see the new build spec and it is right here. So we know that our, our stack update was successful. Now what we need to do is to re-upload the, um, the zip file to S3 again, so the pipeline triggers. So I probably have the command still. So this one, well, actually that's the wrong location. I need to go back one level. Yep, so it's right here. And I'm just gonna run the copy. So it's uploaded. Going back to the pipeline, just gonna wait a little bit for this to, to update the interface. Okay, so now our pipeline is running, starting with the source. And now it's just a bit of a waiting game. Next stage is running. Let's go to the uh, definition of done and see what should happen. So when it, once your pipeline finishes executing, you should see the following. So our CFN lend that it was passing before, it should fail now. And then we're gonna keep, click on details and we'll see why, why it's failing. Let's go back to the pipeline. All right, so there we go. So CFN Lend failed. Let's click on details and link to execution details. Let's scroll to the bottom and it is right here. So this is the command. Oh, before we get to that, you see the, the LS? So you see that we have stacker and template. So that's what I meant. That's what I mentioned. So these are the two folders that I had in my zip file. Really be careful the way you zip your files or your folders, because that's how you're going to have to to run your commands here. If I had one level, uh, let's say I had a folder and then after that I had stacker and templates, I would have to put this folder right here before I get to the templates path. So just bear that in mind. What we can see here is that parameters should be specified. Yeah, so we had a, so we were missing actually an allowed pattern for, for the template. Let me maybe show you that. If I go to templates here on the left, we have VPC-SG. So that's, that's the file that CFN Lent is running and checking. And what it's saying is for the VPC CIDR block parameter, there's no allowed pattern. So if I go back, where is it? Yeah, so there's no allowed pattern in line five, which is this one, line five for this parameter. And the reason here is because if you're asking for a VPC CIDR, you, the best practice is to have an allowed pattern to make sure that you're only going to get a CIDR block. This is just one of the checks that CFN Lent is going to do. So it's just going to make sure that your, your template is following, you know, best practices. Uh, the next one, I'll show you why it complains. So you have depends on for the resource VPC. And if we take a look at, uh, so the depends on it's actually for, for the security group, not for the VPC. Yeah. So for the security group, we have a depends on the VPC. But the problem here is that I'm already referencing the VPC using the ref function. And so because I'm referencing using the ref function, I do not need to specify depends on because CloudFormation already knows that the security group depends on the VPC because of this. So that's why CFN Lens is just saying, you don't need this depends on, so you can remove it. But this is just to make sure that your, your code is you know cleaner, right? I think that's everything for, for this step. So we need to make sure that it's failing and, 
And these are, this is actually the same error that we're, we're getting. Let's make sure, yeah, so we've got a depends on and allowed pattern. And that's totally expected as, as it says here, and we're gonna fix that shortly. So now step seven, we're gonna work on CFN NAG.